Hey friends, how are you? <clears throat> Welcome to some car therapy. So, um, we're here to work on relationships, right? We notice that uh, we're struggling in our relationships. We feel uncomfortable with friends, with issues, uh, dating issues, uh, marriage issues, and similar patterns over and over again. If, if you have the awareness to see that there's something repeating, something similar, keep getting the same guys, girls, uh, whatever, partners, you know, having the same arguments over and over again. Um, and so we uh, want to grow, we want to change. <clears throat> and it comes down to our relationship to self, how we treat ourselves is really everything. How we treat ourselves is how other people treat us. Um, how we treat ourselves is really a reflection of how we grew up, how others related to us when we were kids and we're still treating ourselves the same way. I mean, that was modeled for us, you know. And, uh, you know, reminder, it's not, it's not your fault. I mean, what do you expect? You grow up 24-7, 365 you know, in a certain emotional environment that had upsides and downsides to it. But it's deep, deep training, first seven years of life. You know, then we go out to school, and the next seven is, you know, really playing out those patterns again or trying it out, testing it out with friends around us. But it's it's really all about our relationship with self. And I call that inner space. You know, there's the outer spaces, the interactions, the dialogue I have with people, things that go on. Um, <clears throat> if you notice, most of your conversations, lots of your conversations will be, I said, he said, I said, he said. She did this, I did this, I texted, I got this, she said that back. It's all outer space, what was going on. That's fine, it's all true. But we're really missing the point is, is simultaneously, I'm having a relationship with another person, but what's my relationship like with myself? And there's a lot of silence there. There's a lot of, um, we need to, 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 to focus more there. That relationship with self. What, what am I feeling as all these things are happening? I find myself repeating regularly um, with the, the clients that I'm blessed to work with. This idea that um, you know we will we will be sent messengers all the time. All the people who happen to be in our life that are around us as friends, colleagues, workers, partners, whatever it is, you know they they are messengers and they're delivering a message. There's there are emotions that get kicked up in all of our interactions with with people. That's the message. Is the the emotions they put us in touch with. And remember, no one can make you feel anything. Uh, they can only bring out certain emotions that you have. The question is, is, will I tune into those feelings or not? And that's what this work is. Noticing, feeling, observing, becoming aware, hearing, sensing, discovering patterns, uh, naming the feelings, um, really really getting in touch with me and not ignoring myself, uh, suppressing, um, uh, rejecting of self, abandoning myself. And the, the analogy is like, you know, if, if, if an Amazon would come to deliver packages at your door and they, every day they're trying to deliver this package and we just don't let them in. The package is the message, you know, the emotions that we're in touch with, you know, and the, the Amazon delivery person is, is, you know, whatever person I happen to be interacting, whatever situation is going on that's kicking up emotions and, you know, it's going to, they will keep coming to the door, they'll keep trying to deliver until I open the door and let it in and open the door and letting it in so they can deliver the package and stop is where I start to tune in and I ask, you know, what, what was I feeling during during that interaction today? Or, you know, I had a nasty interaction with a colleague and whoa, what were the emotions that came up? And that's where your feeling chart comes in um, and tuning in. Uh, that's where breath, feeling the breath coming in and out, noticing myself, becoming aware of myself. Um, just, you know, not, not ignoring that part of me and staying stuck in outer space, but allow myself to start to venture into inner space to get to know me. How comfortable are you when you're alone, on your own? just with yourself, with no phone. Um, <clears throat> many people are very uncomfortable, which is a sign that I, I have to start exploring my inner space. And then you can see as you get more and more comfortable taking time on your own, you can realize that you're growing and progressing. Anyway, invest in you, invest in your relationship with yourself, get to know you, uh, use the trigger method, the feelings chart, work with your breath, notice what's going on inside, allow yourself to begin to build a, a new relationship, a deeper, a loving, compassionate relationship with yourself.